Hi. How you doing, Miss Maria? It's a I'm pleasure wonderful. to meet you. I'm, How are you? I'm okay. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm a, a vlogger it's from New Orleans. Um, I was just, I had hit you on uh Facebook. Facebook and you ex you yeah you explained that you didn't want to talk about I was gonna talk about this story because it was a story that went viral uh anyway. Right. Um but I'm 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 glad to have you. Uh and um we, we talked about it from the perspective we knew from the Instagram perspective. For us that for the Facebook perspective on the outside looking in. Um is right. there something that you wanted to add or did we cover it correctly or uh or was there something that we were missing or the thing is this with me when it comes to that whole situation I typically don't really care what other people' opinion about me is, but everybody got the um, the story wrong. They're trying to make it seem like as if I was this quote unquote side piece who came and destroyed a relationship. That's not how it happened at all. And if you have good common sense and you know how to read and great understanding, you would know. I dealt with this man since 2015. Yes, I was trans. Yes, he was DL. Whether he was DL or not, he stayed with me six days out the week. There's only seven in a week. So that one day, whoever he was with, he was with them for 24 hours. But the rest of the days, he was at my house, on my sofa, on my couch, in my bed. So okay. typically, you start growing feelings for somebody. When you spend every day like that with somebody, you're going to grow feelings for them, especially when you're with them for a long period of time. And out the blue, a day or two, I get on, I get on Facebook, and I see he's in a relationship with, uh, what's her name is? Keisha, or whatever her name Keisha is. Keisha Russell. And this, this is nothing disrespect to Keisha, but it, it has nothing to do with Keisha. My problem was with him. That's where my problem came in, because I'm like, how can you sit there and announce to the world that you're in a relationship with Miss Keisha, but honey, you were just over here at Miss Maya's house. We don't do that. It's and that's not that's not how that's not it's gonna happen. It's not and, and so many trans women always be like, Oh, that happened to me, but I'm not gonna say nothing because it's dangerous. Yeah, it is dangerous, but if I don't say nothing, who is? You, so I should just allow him to basically step on me like I'm some kind of welcome mat and let him go on about his day. No, you're going to hurt me, but I'm going to hurt you too, baby. We both going to be hurt on this good day. I have a question. Um, so so were there any, prior to this one situation where he posted her or posted his relationship status with her, did you have any indications that he was messing around with you with her or anybody else? I went through his phone a few times and I seen that he was trying to contact me. You know how just any every relationship, you know, there's infidelity. infidelity. And he cheated a few times, and I kicked him, like, you know how they go. I kicked him out, came back. But it's never been to the point where he made an announcement that he was in a relationship with anyone. Because from my understanding, from what I, what he was telling me is, I was under the impression that I was the quote-unquote relationship. Like, from the even from the pictures I posted, you see, we was all over. We went to Biloxi, New Orleans, we was in Baton Rouge. We did all this. So in my head, I'm just, I feel like, I know he was DL, but I feel like he was coming closer and closer to being out. So I don't I don't feel like um I'm wrong because I invested so much time into this man for him just basically poof like magic. Right. Right. So you don't know this woman, the woman that you that uh, no, you, you don't know I don't her know, personally. I, don't, I never met Miss Keisha. Never heard about Keisha. <laughs> Keisha ain't wow. Okay. So have you spoken to him since this since you, this went viral? as you know, on Facebook, like a million times, thousands of reshares and, and stuff. Have women, and you said, and, and I, they brought to my attention that some women have attacked you and called you out your name about this. Oh my God, yes. It was, uh, and don't get me wrong, like, I'm trans, so I'm, I'm 24. I've been dealing with this for 24 years. However, it's, I never dealt with anything to this level. It was so overwhelming, like, the negative comments, honey, they was pouring in. But like I made a special, I made a special post. I want to say last night because even though there were so many negative comments, there were positive comments, and people actually saw right. my point of view. My my mission wasn't to destroy. Calling me, my mission wasn't to destroy anyone. My mission was simply to expose this man who basically sold me hopes and dreams, and nothing, nothing to me. Have you spoken to him since? I think he, he or she have not posted since this broke. Do you think, have you spoken to him I have, since? I haven't, I haven't spoken to him. I have no desire to even speak to him. Do you feel, do you feel vindicated? As this goes viral, people look at, because some, some people do look at you as championing the issue, and it brought an issue to my channel, which was um, 
like women do what y'all want y'all want us to tell you all don't, don't we've talked about this issue before in a sense but um i think the problem that women were having was the fact that they felt that you did this out of anger and situation and before making the post i knew that so this I believe that's also correct but i mean the it doesn't matter as long as the means were justified in my opinion what do you have what do you say about that for people that are saying that you just did this out of anger you was a spiteful mad at him you're probably going to be back with him, whatever the case may be. Just say, tell me privately. If they read she the post, if, if, they read the, if they read my post, I specifically said, yes, I was very angry while making the post. So the post was basically created from raw emotions. And it's not just, I'm going to get back with him. This, that's not what it is. If you read the post, I've been dealing with so much from this man. And everybody, trans or bi, uh, biological, Every woman has a breaking point. There's only so much you can take before you hit that breaking point. So just because I'm trans, don't sit there and try to label that as I'm just being um, spiteful or whatever. And if I am, I'm not. But I'm just saying, if I am, what's the difference between me doing it and a biological woman doing it? There is none. None, if I ask me. All right. So are you, do you feel safe? Do you feel like physically safe? You mentioned in the post that he actually physically harmed you at a point in time. Do you, do you feel safe right now? Oh, plenty, plenty of time. Um, you know, I, I'm I'm moving around. I've been staying with some friends or whatever. I'm home right now. This is my current home. But yeah, I've been moving around because um, it, it's very it's a it's a dangerous situation. And before making the post, I knew that. So this is I can't blame nobody but me. I I know it's a dangerous situation, but the truth had to be told, and everybody else too scared to tell it. Right, right. Do you have any advice? for other trans women as they navigate maybe some of the same things you do? Because we just had a trans woman online that said, she think you was wrong. What, she think what? She thought you were wrong. She said that she thought you was wrong in this issue because and, and that that's, a, that's okay. People... That's okay. I, the one thing I know about this world, um, everybody has an opinion and it's okay for everybody has their opinion and I respect her opinion. That That's her opinion and I have mine and, and I'm going to leave that at that. But the only advice I can give to any trans woman dealing with a situation like that is to simply get out. Don't let, let this be a lesson for you to get out. Don't, don't let it go that long. Get out. Take me for your homework and do the, the research. Can you open the door, please? Right. Girl, no, that's not him because if it's him, he won't be knocking. But, um, well, I, I, I do, I do definitely, I definitely, I applaud you for telling um, and explaining your story, even if it did come out of anger, it's telling what happened to you as a person. And I, and I hope that people can see that no matter what we feel, we, and I'm not, I'm not trans and I, and I'm not trying to equate that to understanding that I don't understand every mechanic of it, even whatever it's a gay male, but I understand that the, the uh, some of the oppression that we feel is likewise. And I say that to say only that what I do understand is that we all have feelings. They think that for some reason, outside of the scope of sexuality, we're devoid of any type of feeling. And that's not true. Right. If anything, it's more, it, it makes us feel harder, if anything. We love harder. We are love stronger. And we feel harder. And I think I that's the case. I applaud you for... I do <laughs> applaud you for telling your story. I do thank you again uh, for stopping by um, my little, my little vlogs blogging site. it was definitely i think you are a very beautiful woman you are uh, my god i was Thank like you. i couldn't at first no because at first i was like somebody somebody the person that said it to me was actually my cousin and it was like i want to talk about this i want you to talk about this i'm like well i care about these i care about these i still care about these hoes but it, it, she was like no that's a trans woman i said i know you lying to me not on these pictures not this woman here and I had to really go and look, but I couldn't. I couldn't tell. I was like, I know, I know you're not. So you are definitely, you are definitely, um, you're definitely beautiful and a beautiful soul. Well, and I appreciate you. you definitely. Be safe out there. I don't trust nobody, especially not no trade. Uh, people in it's Amy and Hammond. All those are small towns. So everybody's talking about this. If you made it all the way to New Orleans, right. they're definitely talking about this. So I definitely. So definitely, his life has changed. Your life has changed from this. It's viral on Facebook. And so it's Thank probably you. gonna get YouTube viral and everything else. So I do again appreciate you. Um, and stay out, safe out there, baby. You and your your family and everything like that. You you. you Thank you, you so you, much. You, you you're and, gonna grow from this. And let me uh, let me say this ahead. one time, just to, and just thank you for even giving me this platform to even speak my side of the story. Like I said, everyone has their opinion and they should stand by it. That's good. I respect their opinion as long as they just everybody can just be cohesive.
And thank you for giving me this platform again. No, no problem. Anytime, sweetheart. We're going to check up on you. We're going to be checking up. I'm following you on Facebook now, but I'm going to definitely be checking up on you. You follow thank me? You so much. <laughs> I sure do. I sure do. Well, well I, guess I what? Sure I'm, about to return. I'm about to return the favor. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank right. you.